Hi, I'm Jason O'Dell, and in this example, I'm going to show you how you can make color toning, split toning effects in Capture NX2. And with this example, I've got Pete the dog here, and he's uh, been converted to black and white using my basic black and white conversion action for Capture NX2, which is included with black and white for Capture NX2, the ebook. And I've loaded in this settings, and it's added in. Uh, the black and white conversion step, levels and curves, etc. And I've already made all of my local adjustments. Now what we'd like to do is add in a split toning effect. And with split toning what we're trying to do is tone what would be the paper one color and the silver another color. So highlights are going to show up with the quote unquote paper color while the uh, dark tones are going to be toned with the silver color. And in this example, I'll just do the traditional uh, yellow-blue split toning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new step to my edit list, and I'm going to se select the colorize option. And when you do that, you get to pick a color. It turns orange by default. kind of looks ugly there. So I'm going to go to the color picker, and I'm just going to dial this around until I get a nice yellow color. And I want to make it pretty light. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to make this color fairly light yellow right in the middle. And then I want to go down to where it says LAB and I'm going to change the L value to 70. Okay, and this will be important a little bit later. All right, I'm going to click OK. And, and now here's the trick. I'm going to go into my opacity mixer and I want to change the blending mode. I want to set luminance and chrominance. I'm going to turn off the opacity on the luminance channel. And I'm going to set the blending mode to darken. Now, even though that might seem a little counterintuitive, by setting this mode to darken, I'm only putting in this, this yellow color in the highlights. So that's going to be our paper toning. And now if I want to, I can just dial back the opacity a little bit somewhere around 50 60 percent get that yellow paper color the next step is to add the silver tone color and to do that I need to go up to the menu bar and hold down the shift key on my keyboard I'm going to hold down shift I'm going to go to filter and again I'm going to choose colorize a second colorize step has now been added to step 5 here in my edit list and we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before I'm going to choose my color, click on the color palette to bring up the color picker, and this time I'm going to just put the dot right here in the middle for, for the time being, and we're going to rotate this around until we get that blue color somewhere in here. And again, I want to set the L value, the luminance value, to 70. I'm going to click OK, and again, I'm going to go and expand my opacity mixer, and this time, again, I'm going to do luminance and chrominance, set luminance to zero. And now this time I'm going to set the blending mode. Instead of darken, I'm going to choose lighten. And then dial back on the opacity. So now what you can see is I've got the, the light tones colored in kind of yellow, and I've got the dark tones in this bluish purple color. And this is an example of a split toning effect in Capture NX2. Now the last thing to do here would be to go save these settings as a preset. So I could go up to my batch tool, click Save Adjustments. I'm going to uncheck all of the other steps that I don't want to save here. And then I'm just going to save this step 5, the colorize step, and I'll save it as split toning. Once you've got that saved, you can apply this at the end of your adjustments. And then by just simply playing around with the color picker wheel, just turning the dial, you can put in different kinds of tones.